The mailbag items keep creeping in, so I gotta call the herd. Time for another mailbag video. First one up is this one here. Um, this is something, if, I, if I'm right about what's inside, something I'm surprised I didn't already have. Oh. Uh, if these stickers are correct, then that's not what this is. Oh, it is definitely not what that is. Okay. This is an RC drone motor, so that is not what the tracking number said. Uh, okay. Well, I, I mean, this is fine, but then I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where my other stuff is. Well, anyways, so yeah, this is an RC drone motor. Um, I went for something a little bit more powerful to power the snow speeder this year, uh, because I'm hoping, oh, this is not how I expected I'm hoping to um, make it go really fast. Hmm. So how this is supposed to mount is the the mount is here, and then this spins in the back. But I suppose I can also mount it here and have this spin and have the propeller on there. Oh yeah. Okay, that does work. So yeah, this is a thirty-five forty-eight. Evo motor So it's gonna be quite a bit more powerful. I think this should give me about uh, two kilograms of thrust So a lot of thrust and That should mount with this. This is an aluminum shaft And so the problem I'm getting is that I need to swing a bigger um, propeller in order to get more power out of the uh, snow speeder, but in order to swing a bigger propeller, I need a more powerful motor, and so that's what this is. Quite powerful. There's four screws, but I only see three screw holes. I'm gonna make sure they fit, but I'm not gonna screw them down because these things will need to be Loctited in place. I do think they do fit. That's good. So yeah, this thing, <laughs> hopefully, if I get it working properly and trimmed in properly, it's gonna go really fast. Uh, it should be good for, you know, a couple, maybe, maybe two kilowatts on 6S batteries. That's gonna be the plan. There is a bigger base here. I don't think I need a bigger base. And it's weird because drone motors often have a shaft that sticks out the back. I'm not quite sure why they have that, but there we go. Yeah, it fits. So yeah, hopefully this thing um, goes real fast. Uh, this was kind of pricey. And that's okay that it's pricey because typically you don't burn out motors unless you're abusing them. I'm not going to be abusing this one. I'm not going to be running it over its rated um, capabilities. So the goal is to have this motor so I can run the snow speeder, uh, make it go real fast, and then in summer switch it out uh, into a different craft to do different things with it. So yeah, these were a bit expensive, but... Um, AliExpress were having their 1111 sale, so I figured if I'm going to have to buy them anyways, I might as well. And this one is 1150 kV. Um, what I thought this was, was um, an item in order to help test motors like this, but that doesn't seem to be it. So, for now, I don't know if we'll be able to give this a whirl, we'll just go on to the next one. Next one up is this one here. Hopefully this one has to do with the motors. Oh. oh, okay, just instructions. 
Yes, this is exactly what I thought that would be. So these are a pair of Hobbywing Skywalker, Skywalker 60 amp uh, speed controllers. So yeah, they are to go with this here. And so this motor here has some bullet connectors on it right here and it's going to draw a lot of current and these speed controllers they have universal endings just the wires and they're going to connect up to these wires here so these guys can do 60 amps and they can handle up to six cell lipo uh, this motor can handle up to six cell lipo and so that's the goal. So these are quite expensive for what they are. I think they were 30 bucks each or something like that. Um, but again, I'm hoping not to burn these out. I'm hoping not to drive them really hard. I also got a good quality. Hoppy Wing is reasonable quality for the price. And hopefully these two are well matched enough that they don't burn. And I can just take the power system off of the snow speeder and onto different uh, remote control devices as time goes on so that is the goal hopefully it works out that way and if it doesn't well it doesn't but yeah that's the goal and that also means that with this I can now spin this guy up so um, let me see if I can set something up that's relatively safe well that was a pain in the butt process for nothing um, however I am ready now I've got the speed controller here, I've got the motor here, it's secured to this uh, piece of aluminum extrusion but I'm still going to hold it and this is going to be the remote control. This is a servo tester uh, which acts like a servo uh, controller like as if like you had a like a remote controller for an RC car um, and this thing acts like a servo, it takes the servo signal and uh, makes throttle out of it. So these things work perfectly together. Put 12 volts, which is a three cell um, in series lithium polymer. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, wait, manual. There, so it saw zero throttle. And then, I don't know how powerful this is gonna be. So just idling it's taking 22 watts here. Uh, this is terrifying. Fifty-two watts. Uh, fifty-two watts, just spinning, no prop. Um. I could flip this around and put a propeller on it, but that's extremely terrifying. And I don't think I want to do that, so I want to set up a more permanent solution to test uh, propellers and stuff. Um, this ain't it. So these things do work. That's good. We can go on to the next one. Oh, what you want to see it maxed out well here's 22 volts which uh, this thing is rated a five cell lipo that was an, uh, an oversight but uh, well let's see here it goes oh it says six just idling at 66 watts That's 150 watts flat out with this thing just spinning no prop. That is terrifying. Next one up is this one here. And I believe this is more of what we got in the last episode. Uh, the final ones have come in. Yep, that's... Didn't I already got, get T3s? Well, another set of T3 bulbs. I think they're exactly the same. Let me light them up. 
actually curious to see if these things uh, are a little bit better than the other ones. No, they light up quite dim. You know, I can see why LEDs is such a popular trend because these things are incredibly dim. So this is a quarter watt, 0.2 amps at 12 volts. Let's see if we can crank it up to 14. It does almost nothing. It's uh, 0.4 watts now. Yeah, nothing too spectacular. And now the last one before the off-topic ones. This one for $5.13. Hey, I was actually waiting for when these were going to come in. Ten of them. So these are USB adapters, but more than that, they are USB 3 adapters. So you can actually break out a USB 3 and you have all the pins here. Let me give you a little bit of a closer up. So here it is. So you got TX plus, TX minus, ground, RX plus, RX minus, ground, um, D plus, D minus, and V bus. This is a two sided board. Um, two tracks only on that side though. All the rest of the tracks on this side. And I was hoping to use this as kind of like a breakout connector uh, to go like a through panel connector like this, like the panel would be here. But um, either way, it's useful, you know, to break out and uh, capture your signals. Maybe we can put the oscilloscope on some signals and compare in to out um, to make sure all of the packets are getting through over a data cable. But either way, uh, these things are good to have in your kit. I've now got 10. I am hoping that this package is the counterpart to the motor I just opened. Oh, it's got more stuff in it. I thought it was just a single package with two items, but really it's a package with... Okay, so that's not the right price either. Oh boy. Well, uh, I was looking for this package. It said it had arrived a while ago, but it had not. So there's this one, and there's going to be this one, there we go. So these two are some cheap tools, and uh, they were cheap indeed. Prices are on the screen, obviously, because I couldn't do my research beforehand. This is a quarter-inch ratchet. Uh, I've been without a quarter-inch ratchet for uh, several years now because I haven't replaced the one I lost at work, so I've been needing one. And this thing is actually really cheap. Um, here in Canada, you can't get tools like you can, like the, the same price you could as in the States. Um, our tools here are much more expensive, although we do have some cheap ones. They're just not as cheap. And this one here was just the right price plus on sale for the 1111 sale. And this one here is a tool that um, I found extremely cheap on um, AliExpress as well. These are pliers to help pull relays out of cars. So basically you're, you're able to go into the fuse box and slide this down like this and then it grabs and then you pull the relay out. Some relays get really stuck in there, so you do need something like this. So I don't know how well this is going to work, but uh, some days, I mean, it's just incredibly frustrating trying to get something done, and sometimes all you need is the right tool for the job. This is going to go in my toolbox, and hopefully, uh, if it saves me, you know, if it saves me my day one day, good enough for me. 
other than that, nothing too much to see here. And so that's it for today's mailbag. I want to give a special thank you to my Patreon patrons who make buying this stuff possible, especially when it comes to expensive stuff. This stuff is getting quite pricey, so if you want to throw a dollar into the tip jar, uh, head down to the link in the description and join Patreon today. Other than that, the other ways you can support me is to use the affiliate links in the description uh, and to share the videos. Thanks for watching.